You guys got to see this brake pedal when we get out of the golf cart um, and back to the house. It is like flopping oh around. Gosh, no brakes. <laughs> the brakes made broke. It a little exciting towards the end. Nope. And we got to fix them. I'm Mike. I'm Joe. And this is Cart Life TV. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is our first episode since our 50 mile trip to Palm Beach Island and back. It was a lot of fun. We stopped at a lot of really cool places. And if you missed them, make sure you check out the video in the video section below. It was a ton of fun. And I can't wait to do the next one. But we broke some things unfortunately and uh, one of the things we broke was uh, our braking system which is probably one of the most important things to have working safely on a golf cart since they're broken i think the best thing to do is upgrade them and i think the best upgrade is going to be the jake's disc brake kit because of the power of the internet we were able to get that kit sent pretty quickly i have it it's on the table behind me here so we're going to go down to uh see our buddy rob at superior street golf carts in boca raton and get them installed professionally because you don't want to mess around with your braking system. Yep. What's up guys, we're here at Superior Street Golf Carts. Rob just brought the DS in. He's gonna be doing the Jake's, what is it, disc brake kit on it because you know we broke them the other day doing 50 miles. What do you think, man? Uh, I think it'll be fun. It'll be good. What do you think so, of the broken brakes? Uh, I think they're, they're just uh, need, a, need a little repair and adjustment. Possibly tightening some back and play holes up and adjusting everything. I think uh, these are going to be a nice add on for the front. Think it'll stop us at 30? Yeah. Fully loaded? Of course, of course. Yeah, because it'll be more evenly applied to the ground so the wheels will stop a lot better. Awesome, man. Well, Rob is the best mechanic in all of South Florida. He's been doing this for like 22 years. He knows everything about golf carts, especially the DS. That's why he's doing the work. We want to make sure it gets done right. We got his kid Anthony here. What's up? Come say hi, man. Anthony's like the apprentice, man. He moves the carts around. <laughs> he works on them. Say what's up. Uh, what's up? My name's Anthony Vitarelli. You know, I like golf carts. We do a lot of custom stuff. We're very, very into it. What do you think of this DS? Oh, it's beautiful. Really cool things about this disc brake kit is that it's actually made by Willwood, which makes brakes for performance cars and trucks. Um, I have them on one of my cars at home, and they really had some good stopping power. Rob's down here, he's getting set up, We're about to jack the car up, take the wheels off, and uh, get to work. Jack stand, safety first. This is the disc kit that Jake's makes to go with their long travel lift kit. This is for an 81 to 2004 uh, Club Car DS. If you have a newer Club Car DS, you do have to change the hubs because there is a difference uh, with the old hubs and the new hubs. This has the newer hubs in it. They have a shorter collar and you need to use the old hubs so you can make room for the the brake disc and the new spindle that comes with the kit. So if you do have a newer model Club Car DS, make sure you buy the hubs also. They're available online. They're not expensive. It's like maybe an extra 40 or $50 for both of them. Um, and that's it. Then the kit will work. All right, Rob's down there. He's disassembling the old hubs, taking them off. He's got to change the spindles also. Uh, let's check that out. He's doing a good job and we're moving right along here.
All right, so we got the passenger side spindle off. We're working on the driver's side now. Rob's heating this thing up because uh, after being on there for, wow, 13 years, um, we got to see his bolt, which isn't uncommon. So Rob's using the map gas on it now, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get it out so we can keep moving along. All right, we got the spindles off over here. Rob used about half a can of map gas to get this one bolt, uh, one bolt unstuck. Got one more, uh, one more nut to take off over here to release the hub, but uh, we're looking good. It's almost time to start putting the new brake kit on the cart. What do you say, Rob? How was that bolt? Uh, it was stuck there. So this is a uh, new spindle on the left and an old spindle on the right. The new one has this bracket here welded on um, and that looks like that's what the caliper is going to mount to once we uh, once we get these swapped out. All right Rob's over here he's taking out the wheel studs he's knocking those out of the new hubs we're going to replace those with these these are the wheel studs that are supplied with the disc brake kit they're really cool on the back here is a threaded area that the discs get mounted to on the front, that is the spot that it takes the lug nut to have the wheels uh, mounted to the hub. So pretty cool, um, really nicely made uh, piece of hardware here. We're gonna get these installed on the hubs now and then put the discs on and keep moving along. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is hook up the Brake Master Cylinder. It's the device that goes underneath the golf cart, and when you press on the gas pedal, a piston runs through the cylinder and puts hydraulic fluid through the lines. That's what closes the caliper on the uh, brake discs. So we're gonna get that mounted now and then keep moving along. This block here, we got bolted to it like a clamp style. It's really nice milled aluminum uh, with some grade eight bolts. They're up there with um, some nylock nuts and that connects to our master cylinder. Now the master cylinder has these really awesome coated stainless steel brake lines. Those run to the Willwood calipers and we're going to uh, route and run those now. All right, guys, um, I just want to bring something to everybody's attention because we are in the middle of this video um, doing the install on the disc kit. And we did purchase the um, the new hubs here, which are required. And they're actually for the, what was it, 82 to 2004 yeah. DS. Unfortunately, the aftermarket ones don't have the recessed area for the um, the studs. And here, Joe's going Joe's gonna to show you here. Check that out. So look. Uh, so the new, uh, the, the new, um, I'm gonna call them studs. The new studs that come with the disc kit do not sit flush into the uh, into the new hubs, the aftermarket hubs. So what you need to do is make sure you get the OEM hubs from the '82 to 2004 <laughs> cart. Luckily, um, we have a set of them here. We're gonna clean these up and use these instead. Uh, you can see the uh, the studs actually recess mount into them. So when we put these onto the disc brakes with the studs on them, it will fit perfect. We were getting some rubbing there um, with the new ones and that was no good. Um, 
So we're gonna get these cleaned up and get back to work. But man, that really set us back about probably like an hour trying to figure out what the hell the problem was. But I think we're good now. Master mechanic Rob right there, uh, he's, got us, he's got us hooked up. We got all the parts. When you're working in the golf cart shop, you got no issues. Alright, so we got the calipers mounted on the golf cart now. They look really cool. Check this out. There's a caliper here. And there's two little brake pads. Um, the brake pads are really cool. Um, they can be serviceable and you can get replacements for it when they wear down. Disc brake is nice. It's, it's, it's actually uh, drilled uh, so the heat actually leaves it pretty quickly. Um, just like a performance sports car. Super cool. Floats in there really nice between the hub and the uh, brake caliper. And I think it's a really cool setup. All right, now that we got the brakes mounted on the golf cart, the new spindles mounted on the golf cart, the next thing we have to do is get the reservoir, all the fluids checked and set the brakes. Uh, Rob's under the golf cart now, checking that stuff out. So let's get to work. Rob's got the brake reservoir mounted underneath the seat. It's looking great. Really nice uh, spot he picked out for it. Mounted it on the same bolt that we used for the Jake short shifter. So we didn't have to put a new bolt through the body, which was cool. Um, the brake kit calls for DOT2 brake fluid. Well, DOT2 isn't really available. It's rarely used, but we found something that's actually made of uh, very similar material. It's a uh, mineral oil based, just like the DOT2. And it's this. Marvel Mystery Oil, so mysterious. We don't even know what's in it, but it comes in clutch again. It comes in clutch again so we're gonna put this in as a uh, brake fluid. Let's go. All right guys, so we got the brakes um, pretty much all done. Time to test them. Rob's stacking the cart up now. We're gonna get the jack stands out, put the wheels on, and uh, see where we are, see if we need to bleed them. But looking really good. All right guys, so we're adjusting the brakes now. Rob actually is underneath the cart fixing the rear brakes that we broke the other day. Looks like we lost a, uh, a pin and a clevis and a cotter pin. Um, I don't know how it broke, but it broke somehow. But uh, there he is under there. How you doing down there? Um, just about wrapping this up so we can hopefully take a ride and do an endo. Know there it is. is. We're going to find out.
All right, we're lucky today. Rob's actually going to service the back brakes while we're at it. He just took the drums off. What do you think? I think they uh, are a little glossy. I could see myself in them. The pads too, so they're going to stuff everything up nice, so it's got a good grip. Awesome. All right. So what Rob's actually doing is he's using his, his uh, air grinder to scuff up the inside of the drum. And what that's going to do, it's going to create some friction, uh, something for the pads to grip onto. Really cool technique. Awesome. All right, guys, we got the brakes all done. We're about to take this thing up on the road. Rob's pulling it out of the shop now. This guy did a great job, man. He is, he really knows what he's doing. 40 years old, 20 years in the business. The guy's a maniac, but uh, he's got it out on the road now. It's raining. We're gonna take it for a little, little, little test run. What do you say? He feels good. We're gonna check it out. Yo, I've never seen it stop like that. It stops great, man. Awesome job, dude. Yes. Great, great deal. Warm it up a little bit. I think burning them in, they're gonna stop even better once you get the brakes a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, they gotta bed. You gotta bed the pads. I think a little bit. Yeah, no. So if they do stop good, they feel that it's not only the rear stop. And generally, when you hit the brakes and you mash pretty hard on the cart with only rear wheel brakes, you kind of feel that and you don't get too much stopping force, more skidding. This, the front helping you stop, keeps the back from skidding like that. All right, guys. So we finished the install on the brake kit and uh, it was pretty uneventful aside from the hubs and uh, trying to figure out how to get that frozen bolt out. Rob did a great job, but if you have any tips, what do you think your tips are for uh, anybody wanting to try and install this kit? I mean, just definitely follow the directions, read them carefully. There's a couple of little pointers in there that you do have to follow, like pinching the line, making sure you don't get air in the master cylinder, and putting it on quickly when you have the fluid and you're draining all the air out of the line before it goes, you know, just little things like that. Um, always double check your work, because even here, after we did everything, I realized that I didn't go back and tighten the, I think the ball joint. And yeah, it was just, end, yeah, something you, like that, you, you yeah. You always go around and shake everything, look at every bolt you touched when you're done with your car. That's with anything that you do, especially in 90 degree weather, you, you do forget things, everybody does. So yeah, just double check all your work and make sure you follow the directions. They're pretty straightforward. Pictures kind of suck, but we'll have this video up soon, so be able to help you out with it a little bit yeah the the instructions that come with these kits aren't always the best and they're pretty much generalized for across all the golf cart models yeah, right yeah, yeah. so things do a little look a little bit different in the photos luckily we were able to figure it out remember oem hubs if you don't have the oem hubs from uh, 82 to 2004 make sure you get those the aftermarket hubs from amazon will not work you got to make sure you have the right hubs otherwise the uh the discs won't sit correctly in them sure. And uh, DOT, yeah. DOT2 fluid, before, fluid. You, before you go to install your brake kit, make sure you have a can of DOT fluid ready. They do not sell it at Advance Auto Parts as far as I know. I'm not sure where else they would sell it, but you can find it, order it online. It's it's available. That mysterious, marvelous... Uh, the mystery, hey, the mystery oil just, seems to have worked. It is pretty much similar to DOT2. Uh, yeah, it's a more of a mineral oil like it, DOT2 is. DOT2 is uh, less, less abrasive than DOT3. If you can find DOT2, use DOT2. Um, 
you know, Marvelous Mystery Oil, it's pretty much good for everything. You put it on your cereal if you want, probably. Yeah, uh, but yeah. uh, it seems to have worked just fine for what we're doing. But if you uh, if you can prepare to do this job, get the dot two prior because you do need to put a little bit in the reservoir. If you want to uh, bleed the brakes, we did bleed ours to get a little bit more uh, pressure in the system. They do come pre-charged, so you might not have to do it. We wanted to make sure we had uh, the best response in the yeah, pedal as possible. Sure. And, Rob did his trick on the rear brakes, so we got great brakes on the uh, on the old DS now. Yeah, front and rear. Probably got another uh, thousand miles on it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, that's it. That's about it for the day, Rob. Thank you, buddy. Pleasure Appreciate always, it. Man. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to Cart Life TV, and if you want to support the channel, hit up LowSpeedLiving.com. Check out our sponsors, Superior Street Golf Carts, and uh, I want to give a shout out to Cargo Caddy again. They hooked us up, and we used that uh, Cargo Caddy again on our trip to uh, Palm Beach and back, kept all our gear in the, uh, in the cart without any problems. All right, we'll catch you guys next time.